Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jay. If you made it this far, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell so you can get notified every single time I post a new video. I try to post videos as often as I can. I make no promises. I have no schedule. I am a busy woman. And by busy, I mean I don't do absolutely anything and sometimes I get bored and don't want to film. <laughs> By reading the title below, you know what we're talking about. We're talking all about the good, the bad, the ugly of Accutane. So, for those of you who don't know what Accutane is, it is a form of vitamin A. And basically what it does is it's supposed to cure severe forms of acne. It is a pill that you have to take every single day. And it dries you all the way out. What it does is it dries out all of your oil glands. And then it's supposed to like replenish them, I guess. That's kind of how my doctor explained it to me. Now, personally for me, I do not have acne caused by oil problems. I don't produce a lot of oils in my skin. I actually have very, very dry skin. Um, I have hormonal acne. And Accutane is supposed to help with hormonal acne. Also, drinking water and eating a better diet would help. <laughs> We're working on it. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always- But anyway, let me show you kind of what it looks like. This is the pack. Mine is Isotonin and the brand is Clarivis. And it is 30 milligrams of isot isoterotonin. Isoterotonin. I'm, I'm terrible, terrible at medicine names. But basically it's 30 milligrams per pill. So on the inside, this is what it looks like. It has a warning label. And then it has all of the pills and on the outside it has like a pregnant woman with like a, a no through it so you cannot get pregnant on this medicine and then on the inside are the pills that's what my pills look like now your doctor may give you a different brand but it's all the same stuff when i first got on this medicine which was in um december so it's a it's a process to getting on this medicine first off to get on it you have to have tried every other method medication to cure your acne you cannot just go oh i want to get on accutane that's not how it works this is like this is like a last resort medicine because of the side effects and i'm going to get all into the side effects of this medicine because i've experienced them personally um so what you do is you go into your doctor and before I was on um, Accutane, I was on Spiralactone, which is like the milder version of Accutane. And it worked for a while, but then my acne came back really bad, like bad, bad. I'll insert pictures so you guys can see. So I was on that medicine for a year and a half and for about a year it worked really well but then I went away to flight attendant training and I wasn't able to get my medicine on time so when you don't take it how you're supposed to you basically have to start all the way over and so my skin just never took to it how it did the first time I was on it. So um, I went into my doctor and I actually decided to go to a different doctor in the same office just to get a different opinion because I felt like she was not really giving me all of the options that I had. I felt like she had reached her capacity and that's okay. She was a great doctor. I will go back to her any other time for any other skin conditions that I have. I just feel like with acne, she had given me all of her last resorts and I was just like, I need a different opinion and that's okay. You can do that. Get more than one opinion before you decide on what you're putting into your body because it's a major decision. So I talked to him and he was like, look, I'm just going to be honest with you. And I feel like the only thing that we could do for you right now that I think will actually work is to put you on Accutane. And I was like, I don't want to get on this medicine. I've heard all of the stuff about it. Uh, it's just not for me. And he was like, look, I'm not going to lie to you. It is a it is a powerful medicine, but he was on it himself. And so I saw his skin and I'm like, wait, I want my skin to look like that because your girl works at a job where she's seen by people every single day and it's very embarrassing having acne all on your face so i thought about it i thought about it i thought about it and by the end of our uh visit i was just like okay let's do it like i i was at my wits end and for you guys that are out there watching this video you 
have acne more than likely and you know how it makes you feel having acne and i had really bad anxiety and i was getting very depressed because of my acne i work as a flight attendant and you know everyone's idea of a flight attendant is she's so beautiful her skin's clear and her hair is good and blah 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 you know that's the idea that people have behind a flight attendant and then you're working in this career and you're around all these different people and your skin isn't reflecting who you are on the inside and um i think the turning point for me when i knew that i was willing to take drastic measures to fix my acne i was working a trip and i had really bad cystic acne all over my face and people were like so what's that on your face and i was so embarrassed and i'm not gonna cry but like i really like i was like really really emotional about it because like you know that it's there on your face and there's nothing you can do about it and then you have people sitting there asking you questions about it and you don't really want to tell your business but people are like curious and i get it because i would be too if you you know you see really bad cystic acne on people's face or whatever um but i knew at that moment that i was willing to try anything to get rid of my acne and i mean like i like anything i was willing i there's nothing no i wish that feeling on no one even my worst enemies it's just it doesn't feel good at all so um back to this whatever back to it um he was like that's gonna be your only option that i can have for you he was like we can try other medicines but none of it's gonna work like how accutane will work so i was like okay so he was like all right we have to um give it a month so he went over everything with me they give me the, they give you this really thick packet of stuff and they um tell you like you have to be on two forms of birth control and if you don't if you're not on birth control two forms of birth control you have to like be abstinent and um you have to get these blood tests done every month and it's a lot so my first blood test i went in and they basically check like your blood levels make sure your iron's good make sure your <laughs> blood counts good i don't know they check for all this stuff they check for a lot of stuff and you have to do this every single month so i got a blood test done in november and then i had to go back in december before my appointment and get another blood test done and that one the first one was to check like my blood levels make sure everything was good and also to make sure i wasn't pregnant and then the next one in december was to make sure i wasn't pregnant which obviously i'm not pregnant i have an iud in and me and my boyfriend use condoms so that's that I wasn't pregnant I knew it so I went in got that done and then I went to the doctor's office and he gave me my first supply so I got this but I had double the amount and I'll tell you why I had double the amount at first and now I'm not on that so at first I was taking two of these a day um and that's 60 milligrams but while I was doing 60 milligrams my bones started hurting really bad and like I would have like my muscles would feel really tight or I couldn't lift my arms up for certain amounts of periods and I had really bad lower back pain I was having really bad migraines I was having nosebleeds I was coughing up blood I was bleeding blood like from everywhere I was just bleeding it was terrible my lips got really really dry and the skin around my lips started to peel off and my nose started to peel really bad and my eyes would water like constantly ridiculously amount of watering and um actually when i started coughing up blood i got really really scared and i called the doctor's office and i was like hey i just like want to let you guys know i'm coughing up blood i have really bad nosebleeds every single day morning and night i'm bleeding blood like when i poop i'm bleeding like tmi i'm sorry but i want to be as honest as possible before you get on this medicine and my doctor was like oh it's okay like Maybe it's just because you're a flight attendant and you're flying a lot. And so she told me to put Aquaphor in my nose at night. So I started putting Aquaphor in my nose at night and the nosebleeds started to go away. But I was still pooping blood and I was still coughing up blood. My bones still were hurting really bad. So when I went in for my second month checkup, um, after I did my blood test, I went in and I told the actual doctor, I, I had talked to his assistant before and I went in and I talked to the actual doctor and he was like, why didn't you tell me this before? Like, he was like freaking out and I was like, whoa, 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 your nurse told me this was okay. Like, 
like this is just because i'm a flight attendant that this stuff is happening to me he's like no 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 no. he was like you should have called me well before you came in today to let me know what's going on because these are like severe side effects and this can cause permanent damage y'all i was freaking out i was freaking the fuck out i'm literally thinking i'm about to die mind you okay i was having really bad migraines and so i called them when i was having migraines i had watched some other youtube videos and everyone on there was saying you can't take tylenol tylenol and so i called my doctor day one and i asked him was it okay if i take tylenol i had talked to his nurse's assistant and um she was like yeah it's fine you can take two 500 milligrams you'll be fine so i go in for my second month check-in and the doctor he actually told me oh i actually don't want you taking tylenol because um it causes damage to your liver and accutane um it processes through your liver so that's double the amount of damage on your liver liver and i don't want you to get like liver damage and so i'm like sir i've been taking four or five hundred milligram tylenols every single day for the last month and you're telling me now that i can't actually take it i was like then why did your nurse's assistant tell me that i could take it let's talk about it and so he was like no it's fine just switch over to ibuprofen which is processed through your kidney kidneys versus your liver and i was like okay so then also besides that when i told him about all the side effects that i was having he was like look your only options are either cut your dosage in half and see how you feel or get off the medicine completely he was like i don't want to tell you what to do and i was like look look, look. my skin is clearing up really really nicely I have never felt happier. I am able to go out in the public without makeup on and feel comfortable in my skin. Um, let's try cutting the doses in half. And I know a lot of you are like, bitch, you crazy. Yep. But like, you, I was just feeling so happy for so long that I was willing to deal with the side effects for the next six months if it was gonna mean that I had clear skin. So what I ended up doing was cut my doses in half. So now I just take one pill once a day. And I, obviously I have makeup on, but like, it's not that bad it's actually getting worse like i have this breakout here and then like some right here and i still i have like a lot of texture on my skin right now and i'm thinking that it's because i cut my dosage in half because when i was um taking two pills a day my skin was clear like honey honey i just did eye makeup put a little bit of cc cream on and i was good to go but now not the case per se so um i don't know i'm gonna talk to him see what his opinions are about me bumping my dosage back up now that i've been on it for a couple of months um i go in for an appointment on february 17th yeah that's a one month mark so you literally have to go in every 31 days and if you miss seven days without going to an appointment or taking the test that they make you take they make you start all the way over yes they make you also take a test every single month and it's like the most stupid repetitive test that i've ever taken in my life it's like one of the questions is you and your boyfriend are having sex and he only brought one condom do you a stop having sex b use the pull out method or c have sex more than one time or something like that and this obviously the answer that they want you to put is you only have sex one time if you only have one condom you only have sex one time which is true don't have sex without a condom people stds are real well obviously so yeah i'm gonna talk to him about getting my dosage put back up but all i want to say to anyone who's taking this medicine think about it before you do it before you get on it do your research know all the side effects because you might think that you're one of those people who never get side effects but this is a whole different ball game of medicine and make sure this is something like you really want to do it can actually be very expensive i have really good health insurance um through my job so when i go to the doctor it only costs me 60 dollars a month 40 for my doctor's appointment and 20 dollars for the medicine but i looked online and this can run you like 300 dollars a month if you don't have health insurance and i don't it ain't worth it if it's gonna cost you that much money so just make sure that it's something that you really want to do watch as many videos as possible now the tea sis <laughs> so i am a flight attendant y'all already know this it's all, well, my whole channel is about and i'm on this accutane medicine and it, yes it dries my skin out so bad i feel like i chug water all day long and i like i can drink more water i'm not gonna lie but i do think that i drink a lot of water now 
um so it does dry me out really really bad it, i think it makes my side effects worse but other than that like my confidence is like through the roof when i put my uniform on and i get ready for work like i'm excited to go to work i'm excited to film videos i held off making my youtube channel for so long because i was like so embarrassed of my skin and from the pictures you guys saw like i don't think you would want to post a video either but now i like have the confidence to like film videos and be in front of people or in front of my phone and then you watch this video whenever you watch it but i don't know i say think about it if it's for you you will do it and it's gonna you gotta stick through it it's not gonna be an easy journey you're gonna have some hard days you're gonna have some good days also let me this is this is good this is good you need to know this this medicine right here causes so many mood swings like some days i want to punch a wall and i'm not gonna lie and then other days i am crying my eyes out and i just question why i'm even alive and i know that this medicine has to play a part in it because i've never had mood swings as crazy as i do now and it also lowers your sex drive so if you like to get it busy with your man woman whatever often it's gonna decrease i know some people say they haven't experienced that but for me personally it has taken my sex drive away completely and sorry mom you're hearing this but this medicine makes me never want to have sex ever again i don't even think about sex at all in medicine so think about that too it, it just it dries you out so bad <laughs> so bad it's like it's like so bad my mood swings and what's like going on down there that i'm contemplating telling my doctor to like like get me off of it i'm like stuck between getting my dosage back to where it was and getting off of it completely i just i don't know i'm i'm like torn so when i go in for my next appointment we're obviously going to talk about it um i know it's having like a major effect on my it's like straining my relationship with my boyfriend because he's dealing with these ups and downs like I am mean when I'm mean and then I'm really like crybaby ish when I'm in that mood and I don't know I know this medicine ha plays a big part in it and every month they make sure to uh talk to you about your feelings and stuff like that so like if you are on this medicine and you feel depressed and you feel like you want to kill yourself you need to let your doctors know immediately like get off the medicine if you have to like your mental health and your physical health is so much more important than having clear skin at the end of the day i can preach to you how much i love having clear skin and being happier with that but if i ever started getting thoughts in my head like i'm gonna kill myself and i'm contemplating it i'm getting off of it i don't care i don't i'll have bad skin for the rest of my life like i said i was having days where i contemplate why i'm like what's my purpose like why am i here why am i living but I've never had the thought of I want to kill myself and I'm very grateful to the God that I serve that that has not happened to me and I haven't had that feeling but if you do please 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 talk to someone talk to your doctor get off this medicine it is not worth it you are you are here for a reason you have a purpose we always love you if you ever need a friend I'm always here you can message me whenever I always reply to people like i said if it's causing any emotional turmoil in your life get off of it talk to your doctors make sure you go to multiple doctors and get their opinions because you don't want to just get the opinion of one person some doctors are just money hungry and there's actual doctors that care about your health make sure you know the difference um if you have any questions or comments concerns leave it in the comment section below guys you made it this far go ahead and subscribe to my channel and i'll be back with another video thank you bye